Hey everyone, Rob here from Rising Edge Industries, and in this quick take video, we're going to go over erasing the post trigger memory space in uh, the DR500 data recorder product line. So, the first thing you want to do is open connection to a unit, open connection serial number 19. We have the usual um, the usual display of what the data recorder has stored currently internal. Um, for configuration parameters, we have the default software loaded application parameters here. And um, we have two controls for erasing post-trigger memory. Pre-trigger memory the, the is handled internally. The customer doesn't have to worry about that. But post-trigger memory does need to be erased by the customer, and it needs to be erased before every trigger event or data capture. So to do this, there are two options up here in the controls. You have sector erase or full erase. Full erase erases the entire gigabit post-trigger memory system. Sector erase erases in sectors specified by the user. So um, we recommend most customers use sector erase. It's much faster erasing the entire post-trigger memory system since it's a gigabit. It's pretty big and it takes around seven or eight minutes. So in the field, that's that's way too long, and most customers don't have data runs that that long that capture that much data. So um, the sector the sector erase using this sector set here in this text box is designed to allow customers to erase much quickly and only erase an amount of memory they plan on using. And so. Um, We'll look at a picture of the memory system here. This is this is a little diagram of how you can think of it. Um, you can think of each sample being 12 bits is stored in a 16-bit memory space. So from the erase perspective, everything is erased here with the sector set control in bytes. So each sector is 512 kilobytes. So if you, that from an erase perspective, think in bytes, but just to correlate that to samples, um, one sample is 12 bits, which takes up one word or 16 bits worth of post-trigger memory space. And so we'd have sample one, sample two, <coughs> and they would continue down deeper and deeper into memory depending on the run duration and the data rate. So the best way to go over this is with an example. So we'll just use the example we have here by default. Um, and let's set this to one. Um, so let's say we want to run 600 milliseconds, uh, 600 millisecond data capture at uh, 500,000 samples per second data rate. And so to do a quick calculation, just to make sure we erase enough memory, I guess at this point it's important to point out for each data capture before every trigger event, the recorder needs to be reset, so it's rearmed and ready to go expecting a trigger and the post trigger memory system the amount of memory the next data capture is using you need to erase that much memory in post trigger memory so it's erased fresh and you don't have to worry about any data integrity issues due to old data in the memory space um, that you could potentially be overwriting causing issues so Every customer should erase the amount of memory they plan on using, reset the recorder to rearm so it's ready to run, and waiting for a trigger event. Um, so in this example, we have 600 millisecond run duration at a 500 KSPS data rate. And so that's 500,000 samples per second. What we want to do is convert that to bytes. And we do that just by multiplying by two. There's two bytes per sample. So we have a megabyte, <coughs> one meg used for this example, um, but one meg per second. And we're running for 0.6 seconds. So now we multiply 0.6. So we're using 600 kilobytes, so 600,000 bytes for this next data run. Um, and so to do this correctly, we need to make sure we erase more than 600K, 600 kilobytes of memory. Since each sector is 512 kilobytes in size you can see one sector is not enough so we need to go to two sectors that gives us uh, one meg memory chunk we're going to erase and to execute this all you have to do is go to erase menu select erase sector 
you can see it echoes back two sectors one meg and two sectors erased successfully so it's done so now we've erased the meg we're going to use 600k we're good to go if you do want to erase a full memory space you just select full erase and it takes um seven or eight minutes and you'll have the entire gigabit post trigger memory space fully erased and ready to go but this is that's not necessary if you run this quick calc and and make sure you erase enough so it, this is a knob that allows users to save time and only erase what they plan on using so for as another example just to see a larger uh, a larger erase execution will run 10 sectors which is five megs so we'll put in our sector set as 10 we'll go to sector erase erasing five megs you can see 10 sectors five megs and then any second now it'll say done and we'll have five megs of memory erase ready to go and we'll be ready to send new data into post trigger memory to be captured so this this is it the, on, the only memory race options are full erase and sector set and this is the knob that allows customers to control how many sectors so um, if you want to see any other features we'll have many more video quick take videos discussing um, each functional characteristic independent of one another so the videos stay short and accurate so thanks for watching and check out some more of our playlists on our YouTube channel